Welcome back. We're ready to study lists, which have a whole lot more facility than the others. If I do a help on list copy, which was one copy was one of the strings that came out when I did a dirt. But copy is a method, method descriptor. Self we ignore, oh, you don't say anything. It returns a shallow copy of the list. So it makes a copy, which means that it makes a new list and makes a copy of each of the elements. It's shallow because if one of the elements is a list, one of the elements in of your list is a list, then the, both the original and the copy will be pointing to that same list. Now, don't worry about that yet. We're going to study that and see how to fix that up and understand it much better, but that exists. What also gives a shallow copy of the list is the slice from the beginning to the end. Remember that? I said it gives an independent copy. Well, it's independent shallowly. Only lists have these. Append, clear, extend, insert, pop, remove, reverse, and sort. Ooh, they're all so powerful. Let's look at list append. I give it an object, and it's going to stick that object into my list. So it's just like plus equals. Almost. There are a few little very subtle differences, and we'll see them. But you can think of it as the same. List extend, you extend it with an iterable. So each of the elements in the iterable, which means to us so far, it means string, tuple, or list, any of the sequences, because sequences are iterable, as are many things, and you'd be able to make your own iterable things. It'll take each of the elements from the iterable and stick them in your list. Append, put one thing in the list. Extend, puts the items from an iterable into the list. Well, we'll get practice. The difference can produce scary results, but easy to fix results. So here I have a list of herbs, basil and thyme. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to extend it with dill. Now, probably I wished that that whole dill string went in as my next element. But no, no, no. Each of the elements of dill went in one at a time. Now, how could I get that dill to be in there? I could put around it square brackets then it would put the whole dill in there. I could put around it parens with a comma. Check me. And that would put the whole dill in there. Then again, I could use a pen. So when you your code does these things, and they can be really stunning, they can really throw you for a loop, don't let it throw you for a loop. It'll be an easy thing to fix. In Python, three lists have clear. And what they do is clear out the list. So here I have a money list. I say clear and my money is all gone. Lists have insert. And if you are familiar with a lower level language, you know that inserting something into an array is a big operation because you got to move everything over. Here it's easy. And the real work still goes on in compiled C, so it's good. So here I have a list, and I'm going to insert at the 1 index the 3. So 0, 1 now has a 3. This is very useful. We'll find this useful. List has a pop. Now the traditional use of pop is last in, first out. But this pop allows you to give an index. You can give an index, and we see that the default is minus 1, which is the last one. So the default works as you think a pop would, but this pop allows you to pop out anywhere. The thing about pop is it returns what got popped out 
And that one that got popped out, that one, is no longer there. Now we'll look at list remove. For remove, you give a value and it finds the first occurrence of that value and then it takes it out. It returns nothing. When it returns nothing, it returns a none. Just remember. So that if you use remove, you do it like this. Stack dot remove three and three is out of that stack. It doesn't bother to return the three that it removed because you told it to remove a three. You already know. There is list reverse. I think that's obvious, but what might not be so obvious is what Guido Van Rossum, the author of our language, because this reverse method is from the beginning and he has capitalized and asterisked the word in place. So he is yelling at us, in place, pay attention. It returns nothing. It reverses in place. And now the list is reversed. We'll understand that better because we're going to look a lot at sort, which also reverse sorts in place. We have two optional arguments, key and reverse. So if we say reverse equals true, that'll sort it and reverse it all in the same operation. Key will spend a lot of effort on understanding key. It is so useful. It is brilliant. Okay, so what in place means, we'll explain by looking at the list sort and the list reverse. Here we have a list. I say list sort and I print it. Yeah, it's sorted. Notice that I did not accept any return value. It's a very common mistake, easy to fix, and then you know. To say sum list equals sum list sort. Mm -hmm. You print sum list and none, because the sort facility returns a none. It's sorted in place, it returned none. If there were no more labels on sum list, it threw away your data. Gave that memory back up to the memory handler. Well. Again, that's an easy one to fix. Now, if you don't want to sort in place, if you want to make two copies of your data, one sorted and one not sorted, then you'd be very interested to know that there is a sorted built-in function, which you can apply to any iterable, well, certainly all the sequence types. So if I have cab, which is a sequence, it will sort the elements and then we get ABC. Sorted returns the, a new list with the elements sorted. Always returns a list. Even though a string went in, a list came out. Of course, nothing happened to the string. Both sort and sorted have an optional argument key. We'll be studying that. Okay, we're ready to do some exercises again. The, this is a pencil exercise. Don't type, make mistakes so that you understand what you got wrong. You type it, you put the answer in. You're not getting graded. It doesn't matter that you get it right. What matters is that you understand. So with this lab, you have a lot of pencil work, but you also have one piece of programming to do. So I'll see you when you're ready to look at the results.